Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day. Um, welcome to my Friday favorites. My name is Maria. Oh my gosh, I'm repeating my friend Ashley when she does her videos. Sorry, girl. <laughs> anyway, if you're new to my channel, I do this every week like a lot of us YouTubers do. So, I uh, want to quickly get into and explain a few things to you. So sorry about last week. I, you guys just saw my Friday favorites that I just uploaded. Our internet is out still. We're having to go to Starbucks, but we don't mind. I prefer to drink coffee at home, but to come out with the fall drinks, I have to get one. So my husband's like, why don't we just go and upload it at their Wi-Fi and, you know, just relax because I don't have to be at work. Uh, I'm filming this on a Wednesday, but tomorrow's Thursday when I'm going to get this uploaded. And I don't have to be at work till 4, so we're going to go have breakfast and just go to Starbucks and all that. So anyway, so sorry about for not getting it. Second of all, my laptop is going to go in the shop yet again. Uh, the CD disk drive thingy that you put your DVDs and that kind of thing is is crashed. I'm so mad. We're almost done paying this off. As you guys know, we've been going through Flexi. It's uh, like a pay-as-you-go place inside Walmart, and we're almost uh, got it paid off. <sighs> However, I got to put it in the shop, and my husband suggests I go ahead and get my videos that I have done, or get a few videos done, and then spend some time uploading them so I got y'all covered. Now, I can do them on my phone, but I have a shitty phone. And, um, I did figure out how to turn off the notification thing. And my phone, when you hear me on Keek, it's bad. Unless I'm on my laptop. So, um, I know I'm going to want to film, but, ugh. So, but we're going to go take it over there tomorrow after we get through with everything and see if they can actually fix it. Uh, the guy said when I brought it in, he didn't know if he was going to have a loaner. The last time I got a loaner, I had it well over a month. I'm going to try to get a loaner because I have to have a loaner to do my videos with. So, anyway. That being said, and I have no idea when my Wi-Fi is getting fixed. So, let me bring you up to speed with what's been going on. I don't have a lot of beauty favorites as far as uh, makeup-wise because I'm having an allergic reaction. And I'm going to try this out tomorrow, Thursday. Um, I put on my Elf Eyelid Primer one day. And I had a, and I had my mascara from NYC, which is one of my favorite mascaras, the Big Bold Mascara. And I thought I got all my mascara off. Apparently, it was still on there. Well... My, when I woke up the next day, my eyes were so puffed up that I had um, a blurred vision for a few seconds, and then it went away. Freaked out. My husband's like, well, how long has it been since you've had those mascaras? Well, why don't you go back and throw them away, and then repurchase some more, and then write down and tape it to your container when you bought it. That way you'll know it's pretty much toss it. Well, I, this one I, I haven't had on in three months. I only kept one in my, uh, um, what is it, the... Um, Color makes one. And I've got these other two that I don't think I've had for quite for three months. So I'm going to have to go back to my videos and figure out when I bought them. If so, I'm going to throw them out. Well, the next day I did a video and I had, I just did eyeliner. I have had Elf Eyelid Primer, another eyeshadow palette on. And the next day after that, thoroughly go all my eye makeup, anything, and my eyes puffed up again. I didn't have the blurred vision, but something's going on. And the last time my eyes puffed up like that is when. I had an allergic reaction to a nail polish I had where I did this, and it was one of the nail polishes that had an ingredient in it from several colors where they had the actual neon colors uh, collection come out, and it made my eyes puff up, and my doctor did run tests on them on that and the China Glaze nail polishes, it was actually simple colors. Now, I'm not allergic to simple colors, but they have like a neon collection come out, I cannot use it, and my husband has to remind me not to buy those. So, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to try it again tomorrow. I'll wear my Urban Decay primer potion and the eyelid uh, primer. If not, I'm going to have to go to the doctor and find out what's going on. And I've been too scared to wear makeup. So, this is why I only have concealer, which is covering up my hideous uh, zits. And I have a beautiful lipstick on. So, I'll let you guys know what's going on. I may just go ahead and toss those and just start, start all over. One of them's about done. So, anyway, here we go. I have, um, and you'll see some favorites from... A recent package I got from my beautiful friend Laura walking to life I will upload that after these two um, you'll see that I did a second video in the first video where I showed where you know me open the package I said I'm gonna go film the swatch haul but I didn't do a very good job and I'm like you know what's rushed whatever so if you guys want to see swatches of any of the new stuff that I did get from her and from what I bought over the weekend let me know in the comments below and I'll just do a separate video like my friend uh, Peggy does in hers so let's get into it. Um, I did try a couple of things here. 
and uh, the, this has the new stuff I got either by me or that she um sent me or Laura had sent me. I'm wearing the lipstick to Laura, one of the lipsticks that she sent me. So I just have it there. So until I rotate, what I like to do is keep all the new stuff I bought up on my vanity until I rotate it into my normal collection. So let me just go ahead and start with the eyes. I wore this one day and I am already in love with it. Laura sent me this uh, going in the wild palettes, one of the limited edition sets. And I want I wanted the one with all the nudes, but this one has some really gorgeous colors, and I was just happy to have this palette. And I wore these colors like I wore it like it says on there, like um eyelid and crease. And then I reached up here and did the brow, and I love that look, and it just love this palette. Um, I'm probably gonna wear this again tomorrow, and if I do, I'll post a picture on my Instagram or go on Keek. Um, and let you guys know what's going on with that. I love this. Thank you so much. The colors are really, really pigmented. I can never find these kind of, um, these kind of uh, palettes. I mean, I've gotten lucky so far on the, um, ones I have gotten. I've gotten a trio from a long time ago that my friend Ashley uh, sent me. Cuppy Cake, um, everything cupcake that she, she sent me. So, I love this. Thank you so much, Laura. I, I did enjoy it that first time. I wanted to get in my favorites because it was just, I love the look I was able to create the get. And my towel is right here. Uh, the second thing that I have tried at least once and did a look with it was the Ar Spoiled Army Brat Eyeshadow. Uh, I did wear this at least once and I love the colors from this. Um, I didn't think I was going to want this, but I'm going to try if I have, uh, if I'm able to tomorrow, I'm going to go see if I find some more of these because my friend well, I mean, Angel Eye 6, I'm going to try to find her the entire collection. She lives in Canada. She can't get the, get those up there. So, you know, I'm going to see what I can get her. I'll tell her I, uh, I'm actually going to be mailing off a package to her tomorrow. So, <sighs> there's some stuff I need to do tomorrow. So, this is the colors look like. They're so beautiful. I saw Miss Veronica, and I saw several other people with this. And I was like, ooh, that looks like a really good little trio to have. So, I went back, and sure enough, my the Walgreens I found the other ones that had those left so and I love that um magenta color it's so pretty so I did do a look with that and then the other one that I did wear this week that I love uh, ooh just knock it over Maria that was graceful wasn't it <laughs> actually it's one of the colors I have on. Um, the other uh, thing I got, and I got this at the Dollar Tree last week. We had gone to go see the new babies that were born over the weekend. I always have to stop in the Dollar Tree. I was pl planning on getting them a little gift over there. I had to go look at the makeup. I've had this palette before. Love it. And I'm glad I found it again. It's the Color Mate uh, palette. I think this is in Copper Shimmer. And this is a really great palette for a dollar. If you see this at your Dollar Tree, you really need to pick it up. It's perfect for the fall. And I, I did a look where I used my middle finger color and then this one. But if you're like me and you like the metallic colors too, really, really pretty. It's like, uh, like this color right here is like a purple color. I kind of just swatches. Again, let me know in the comments below if you want to see a separate swatch video and I'll try to do one for you, but I love this. It's only a buck, and I have tried uh, some of the cosmetics, and they're actually not bad. The eyeshadows are phenomenal. Okay, another makeup product. I've got two free lip products that I've been loving. Now, if I, have, I have, if I haven't been wearing eye makeup, I've been definitely sporting the lips. And I think I knocked over my lipstick. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so not right. Oh, here. Okay. First of all, the lipstick I have on, this is one Laura sent me. This is from Revlon. Oh my gosh, this is a gorgeous color. It's called, it's from the Pearl Collection, the Super Lustrous Pearl Collection, Porcelain Pink. For $6.51, I think she hauled this. And this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I really went into the uh, Pearl look, but I did, have worn this a couple of times since I got it, like Monday. Like, I slapped, I slapped a lot of these on. Isn't that pretty? Just a really pretty pinky mauve color. Been loving that. 
Uh, another one she sent me is a Milani lipstick, and I love these lipsticks. They're awesome. They're the ones everybody's been finding at the Dollar Tree. I want to find more of these. I'm still looking for number 26. Um, I saw Little Miss Andy talk about. I cannot find it anywhere. It's just a nude I have to have for the season. But this is a this is in number 46, Great Teeny. And when I got these, they were slightly melted, so I asked my husband, how do you go about doing this? I could have looked on YouTube. He had told me I had to put them in the freezer like this and left them in there for just a little while. And I took them out and left, left them on my vanity and thawed them out, and they were fine. So he knew about that, too. Oh, my kiddo holds are so terrible. And let me show you this watch. I love this color. I think I wore this yesterday. It was so pretty. I mean, I was around the house, but still, it was gorgeous. And then the other lip product is a rediscovered product. I know everybody's got those butter glosses. I've not had a chance to go to Ulta and pick one or two up. I guess many lip products is unreal. But this is the NYX Extreme Lip Cream. I don't even know if they have this anymore. They had the matte version of this one. This is the non-matte one. And this one is a gorgeous color. This is a, it's the color natural. And you guys know I love my natural. Now, at first it kind of makes my lips look like I'm dead or kind of, or something, but... It really looks nice, especially over top of a lipstick. You don't have to put it over it. I love the applicator on these. Why can't they have these kind of applicators on the regular ones? But uh, lip glosses. But I love this color. It's just a really pretty nude color. Um, I thought it made my uh, lips look a little bit dead, but it looks really, really nice. And I paired it with a uh, natural nymph. And I'm still using this currently, so I'll be. I'll, Probably gonna wear one of the new lipsticks that I got, but if I wear a nude lip, I'm gonna slap this on some lipstick. It's been really awesome. But if you find these at your local drugstore, check them out. Uh, I mentioned this in the video you just seen. I'm so loving it. It's the Jordana Fabu Brow pencil. I love this. This is a great pencil. It's got a little brush, and I'm in the number two medium brown. And I did not know these were born born in Germany and this is the perfect the lady over there at Walgreens helped me pick out the color and this is just a really easy brow pencil to use there's no guesswork you just fill in and it slaps on and goes on like a dream so I've really been loving this still um a couple of uh, there's three brushes I'm in lemon of course there's two from Laura that I've been loving has been the Soho blush brush I tried this out uh, yesterday, and I love it for, I tried it out for powder, and I was able to put it on all over my face, where it's really good if you just want to use a smaller brush, or you can use it for a blush brush. I haven't, I'll probably use it as a blush brush, but these are really nice and really soft. I tried one before, and I had really bad luck with it shedding after I washed it, but I washed this one yesterday and looked at it, and it was fine, so maybe I just had a dud. I love these brushes. If you haven't tried these, I think Walmart sells them. Give them a whirl. And then she sent me this Rite, one from Rite Aid. Now, I wish we had a Rite Aid one. I think it's one of their brushes called Renewal. I have the package somewhere. Oh, here it is. This is what the package came in. And what this brush is, it's a multitasker brush. It's it's a it's a perfect multi-purpose eyeshadow that applies just around mouth eyeshadow to the eyelid. You can use this um, to apply your eyeshadow, but you can also use it to blend it out. And I've tried it both ways, and it works really, really nice. And it's really, really soft, too. I've washed it. Yes, it's dirty. But it did really nice, so I have been enjoying that. And this one, you can probably pick this up at Big Loss. That's where I picked mine up. The, the Miss Makeup Brushes. This is like the shading, eye shading brush. I've been enjoying this to apply my brow color this time, just, you know, like right there, and it gets right in there where I need it to go. And I really love this. I don't think it was very much. It might have come in a kit. And it also has this little thing where you can get a better grip on it. I've got the, um, boogie brush that's not very good, but this is actually good, and it hasn't really shed on me at all, so. Been loving that. Okay, um, the the foundation, I've been kind of just doing concealer and pressed powder or loose powder. I've got to get stocked up on pressed powder. I'm getting a little, my Elf Mineral Booster, I'm going to continue purchasing this. Uh, 
well, the press powder and the mineral booster, but I need some other press powders. I want to repurchase my Milani Multitasker. This is the Elf Mineral Booster and Sheer. You guys know it's one of my favorites. I've been just putting concealer on, slapping this on there, and I've been going. So it looks like this. I highly recommend this. This size is like $8. If you like the bare minerals, this is a nice, cheaper alternative. I think it's so much, so much nicer and cheaper. Um, I've been playing around with the cream blushes, and I got out the Elf Cream Blush. This is a heartbreaker. I swear this is a beautiful color. Um, I don't remember how much this was because I can't remember if I bought it or if my friend had bought it for me. We were doing a swap because we both <laughs> shopped at Elf. And it has this nice little seal that, you know, I like to keep on there. And it's a bright, creamy blush. But it's so, so pretty. It feels like the Dream Bouncy, uh, the Dream Bouncy br blushes from... Mainly, I have tried those before as far as feeling around. But, I mean, look at it. It it looks really bright, but you basically just go and blend it out, and it goes on really, really nicely. I highly recommend you use your stipple brush. I've been using my fingers and using the stipple brush, and so I've been getting more use out of it. I'm just trying to get more use out of my mossy uh, cream stick. So, I love this. I mean, it. I want to get more colors in these as I get more confident with application. I, I sit there and try to practice on non makeup days. A lot of people said they didn't like the packaging on this, said it was too bulky. I don't mind it. And then my blush, eh, my blush, um, my powder and highlighter, my bronzer, has been the Essence Sun Club. This is for blondes. This is number one. It's the matte eyeshadow one. It's kind of like the Went Wild one. And I've been using this for contouring. I love it. It's just a really nice bronzer. You can find this at Ulta or wherever you can find Essence products. And I'm going to actually go back Friday and get a backup of this because I'm hit pan on this and I'm panicked. I'm not going to find it. And that's the Reserve Your Cabana. I've been using the crap out of this. Um, it's just my favorite highlighter right now. It's just I love this. You guys know that. I don't know if I'm going to find a spot here. But, I mean, for me, it gives the perfect highlight on my cheek, on, right around here and up and around my temple. So, I really have been enjoying this. And, like I said, I've got to get another one because look at that. I hit pan. So, um, okay, that's all the beauty products. Let me show you two new, two non-beauty products. I've been relying heavily on these for drinking iced tea. And this one kind is, the, okay. These are the Hello Kitty cups I got at Michael's. Uh, they had them on, one was on clearance, one I got with a 40% off coupon. And I, you guys know I love my Hello Kitty. I thought these were so stinking cute. And I used to not be into the whole, you know, the, these kind of cup kind of things, but it makes sense because I can, this is like my cup. I don't expect my husband to drink out of it. And here's the other one, the first one I bought. Love it, love it. And these are so, so useful, especially you just want to make sure people stay out of your, your cup. You don't want to share. You know, I mean, it's like the whole BPA whatever free thing, and I've really been just enjoying these. Um, candle, I'm gonna burn the crap out of it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go light it up. Pumpkin caramel latte, the one that my husband picked out. It's supposed to be okay. It says it's in a mason jar, but my idea is a mason jar is the ones with the little canning jars. I guess. Love this. I got this at Bath and Body Works when they were they're expensive. These are on sale for like two for twelve dollars, but they're normally like. Was it ten dollars? But I got that twenty percent off coupon that's been burning a hole in my pocket. I told my husband, "If you can, can we go back over there and get some candles?" And so he's like, "Yeah, we're gonna get another one of these." So love, love this. I've been burning that one, and then the that marshmallow one I don't have. It's in my bathroom now. It smells so good. I mean, pumpkin caramel latte. You want to smell? I know some of you said that you want to put your nose up to it. It really does smell good. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to go cook dinner and it's going to love it. Totally just been loving those candles. So, uh, another favorite I forgot to show you, and I have been wearing this. I did take it off. I didn't wear it today because I was uh, working with the shark today, but I wore it most of the time. It's the Sideways Cross bracelet that Laura sent me. I love this. Laura, this is awesome. I've always wanted a Sideways Cross um, bracelet, and I love this. I've seen some ones that just clamp on. But I really love this, and that was so sweet of you to think of me, and I love it. I've been, I actually wore it the rest of the day, 
and then all day yesterday, so. Love it. Uh, a couple more things, and then I'm going to get out of here. Um, I've been enjoying, what's on my nails is Ulta's Chocolate Kiss. And I'm pretty sure I might, I either have a backup of this or I bought somebody, uh, somebody uh, this with my points. I don't remember. I got, I just threw away a bunch of nail polishes I'm not using. If you guys want to see what I did, link me a comment down below and I may just show you either in a video or a keep video. I'll do a keep video because I have to do it. And I forgot about this one. I was going through my nail polishes. This is a really pretty color. This is on top. My nails are looking bad, but. Is LA Colors in Topaz. It's basically a copper glitter nail polish. Like the shiny penny. And here you can kind of see this side. It's just a really, really pretty color. So I've been, there you go. I've been loving these, this two. I probably, probably will repaint my nails uh, with these colors. And so far I've been enjoying the out the door to, uh, top coat that everybody had told me about. So anyway, I'm going to get off here. I said this was going to be a long video, but you all know that was a big fat lie. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Thank you again for uh, watching, and let me know if you have any video requests on anything. If you want to see in upcoming videos, I will do that, and bye for now.